Hey everybody, it's Maya and today we are reviewing some more Tower 28 makeup. So Tower 28 just released a brand new lip jelly. Basically all of the proceeds, like all the money they make from this lip, lip gloss will be donated to finding a cure for epilepsy through the Cameron Voice Foundation. thought that was really cute and also the shade is very pretty as well so i figured why not buy it so if you were only here just for the sole reason of seeing this lip gloss swatched on me then you can just skip to this timestamp right here however if you are interested in seeing some other tower 28 products that i picked up as well as um just me doing my makeup um then you could stick around and just keep on watching so I have the new lip gloss by them. I will be sharing this later in the video. Um, I also picked up their new SOS, well it's not new, it's just new to me. Their new SOS Daily Rescue Facial Spray. It's basically like a priming spray, setting spray, also a like, skincare. And if you guys watched my last Tower 28 video, I really I reviewed their new Bronzino in the shade Sun Coast. And as you guys could see in that video, it was way too light for me. It worked more as a highlight than anything. Um, it just gave a nice glow to my cheek, but it didn't add any bronziness. So I went ahead and picked up a new shade. So this is them side by side. Let me try to get that glare off. All right. So over here we have Sun Coast, and over here we have the new shade that I picked up called West Coast. I will be going into more depth with those later as well i'm going to be using their blush as well so because they said to use moisturizer after applying this spray i think i'm going to spray this on my face first let it sit and then i'm going to apply my primer okay it smells like almost nothing it made my skin more hydrated i can't really give a thorough review on that until i try it out for a while but so far, I think I'm going to continue using it. I don't see an issue with it. Well, next, I'm going to go straight into foundation. And I'm going to apply my Unfoundation Glow Tint by Undone Beauty in the shade Cream Light. And then for concealer today, I'm going into my OG concealer, my Glossier Stretch Concealer in the shade G10. It, it's pretty much emptied. It's like one of the only products I've ever like hit pan on. Skin check. Now for the new product. I'm going to be going in with the Bronzino in the shade West Coast. I think this was the original shade. No, it wasn't. This is a new shade. So I'm going to swatch that for you guys here. And as you could see, it is darker than my skin tone. So hopefully this works for me better. And I'm going to swatch Sun Coast right next to it just so you guys can see the difference from last time. And Sun Coast is still darker than my skin, but the shift on it looks more like a highlight than a bronzer. So I'm just going to pick up West Coast on a fluffy stippling brush. And I'm just going to... Okay, yeah, that actually is showing up this time. Okay, I'm just gonna run that around. And that shade is really, really pretty and really subtle. I'm still gonna use Sun Coast as a highlighter, like on some days, but this is what I'm talking about. And it does have that glow in it already. 
so highlighting isn't really necessary with this bronzer. Alright, next Tower 28 product is going to be their blush in the shade After Hours. Compared to the new shade Wild, they both look the same, so I figured I would go with this as my blush today. And I'm just going to go in... Just start stippling it and then brushing it. And this is like that perfect sunburned, sun kissed kind of color. And the formula just moves so nicely and it has that sheen to it so it is really nice and I just went over my nose as well because yeah and that looks really pretty I was gonna apply highlight but we might we'll see next I'm going to go in with my undone beauty under over powder Ever since I repurchased this, I haven't put it down, so. But just to use it, I'm going to use the Tower 28 Super Dew in the shade No Shade. And I'm going to take that with my fingers. And I'm just going to do that. This is like the perfect highlight that doesn't have any sort of shimmer in it. It's literally just like a wet oil looking product. So, if you were into that kind of highlight, where it's undetectable on the skin, and it looks kind of just like your sweat, then this is the product for you. Alright, for the eyes, uh, first I'm just going to take the Tower Kosas bronzer on a brush, and I'm just going to run that through the crease. And if I feel like I need something more, I'll add a, another brown color, but I'm just going to build this up first. I'm going to take a light color and just put that over the lid. If you haven't noticed, I'm using the PYT palette. I do have a video of this on my channel and I kind of like, not bashed on it, but I did. It wasn't the most, like, I love this review and as you guys can see in most of my videos I've been using the PYT eyeshadow palettes because they are really good for a quick natural look or for a quick soft look if you want to do something like that, like that however my only bad review was for the fact that if you want to create a bolder look with this blue color or with the peach color and you want to create something bold it's kind of hard to do so I was judging it based on that aspect not so much the natural like quick easy eye looks because you can create those really fast with these the formula is great for those kinds of looks really quickly I'm just going to do my brows this brow pencil isn't anything specific I got it in an ipsy bag so I'm just going to fill in a little bit and brush through Just taking this mini quad that I have. I should have just used this. I'm going to be taking this pink shade and applying that to my lid. My eyes don't look, feel complete unless I have shimmer on them, so. There, just a simple look. Nothing crazy, nothing special. And now I'm going to take my Undone Beauty 
brow pen and use that as my eyeliner. What's new? And plus this pen is a brush tip so it makes it 10 times easier to create that perfect shape that you want. Before we do the lips, I'm going to apply my L'Oreal Telescopic my lashes. Alright, this is the finished look so far. Um, I did my wings a little bit more straight out instead of slanted. And they actually look really even now. Um, so yeah, overall this look is very natural, very... Um, just like that basic look, however... This gloss is going to be a game changer. It is just the prettiest berry wine color I've ever seen. Like, I don't have any glosses that look like this. It is so pretty. And even it has the Cameron Boyce Foundation logo on it. So I thought that was cool. And yeah, it's in the shade Wild. So I'm going to swatch it on the back of my hand. Just like my last lip gloss video. Oh, that's so cute. If this if this came out in the fall time, I would have been wearing this every single day. I still probably will, will wear it, but that is so, so pretty. Like, dang. Now we're just going to swatch this on my lips, and I hope it looks like everything I could imagine. <laughs> Sorry for the noise. Wow. That is so much more pigmented than I expected. That is like such a cute color. It looks like vampy, but also like, it's way more of like a fall toned color more than anything, but it definitely can be worn in the summer, like just with a bronzy look like this, and just have your lips be a pop of color, I think that's really cute. So this is the lip gloss. I love it. I love berry tones. And it's... I don't know, I just love how this looks. It just looks like a glass of wine, a stack of grapes, and I want to drink it. <laughs> so yeah, if you skipped to this part of the video, I just did my makeup, and you should probably rewind and watch the whole video because, I don't know, I tried some new products. Um, if not, thank you guys so much for watching. I really enjoyed filming this video today. I really like how my makeup turned out. I feel very put together, cute, fresh, and ready for the summer. Subscribe if you haven't already. Like 99% of my viewers are from like non-subscribers, which is crazy. Like, subscribe to me. I post once a week or maybe sometimes a few times a week. It just depends. But yeah, I'll see you guys next week. Bye.